Good evening. He left a big concert only to be left for dead after getting hit by a truck. Now police are searching for the driver who took off. Tessa DiTiro is live at Riverbend tonight. She spoke with the woman who found the man in her front yard. Tessa. So Cami, a 22 year old was found more than a mile from here. They believe that Todd Turner walked to Sutton Road here off Kellogg and then more than a mile down that road. The woman that says she found him says she sees things like this all the time when there's busy events at Riverbend. Vicki is still scared after finding Todd Turner in her front yard. My dog came over and decided he needed to go out around 1 2 o'clock in the morning. And so um, I got here and probably to the bottom of the steps and went to let him go and realized we had a, a body in the in the yard. Someone's son is laying here. Someone's son didn't come home after a concert. Hamilton County deputies and Cincinnati police officers work the area to direct pedestrians, Ubers and drivers. We'll see people start to go up the highway because they think that's the way home and we'll stop him, we'll bring him back and direct him to where their car was. People just get lost. They, they, they go in, they have a good time, they come out the wrong exit. They think they know where they're going and they don't. But this hit and run was on Sutton Road, far out from the patrols, narrow and dark at night. So many kids after they've been out at a concert walk this strip because they don't want to drive afterwards. This is the kind of truck deputies say hit Turner. They think it will have front end damage from the accident. It's just a, literally a steady stream for probably almost an hour or more after a concert. They're literally just one right after the other. So for someone not to have seen something happen, I would be very surprised at. I spoke with Turner's mother tonight. She called her son TJ. She said he is at UC Medical doing better today in stable condition with a head injury. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 513 352 3040 at Riverbend. Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. All right, Tessa, thank you. In Walnut Hills, police are still searching for the driver who hit a man on his bicycle. Emergency crews were called to Kemper Lane near Windsor today. Now, fortunately, the man is not seriously hurt, but officers are looking for a dark blue Toyota Camry with Nevada plates and the number 235E64. If you can help police in either case tonight, call Crime Stoppers. And here's that number once again. It's 352 30, 40, and you don't have to give your name to get cash for your clues.